Despite being the best-selling Geiger counter on Amazon, this product lacks the classic Geiger counter, particle sounds. Today, I am going to show you how I added this to my device, it's really easy to do, and quite frankly, this significantly improves the experience of using this device. If you have not yet watched my review of this product, I recommend that you do so, before attempting this upgrade. The first thing to do, is to open up your product and check what type of Geiger Muller tube your product has fitted. If your device has this J321 tube, then be happy, and get ready to move on and add some particle sounds. But if you find this shitty excuse for a Geiger Muller tube, fitted to your counter, then I suggest that you put the device out of its misery. You can throw it into the trash, where the other products that have attained the status level of piece of shit get put. Alternatively, you could always try and upgrade to the original specification, the details of how to do that are in my previous video. I am going to be using a 100 nano farad capacitor, to enable the particle clicks to be audible. In my previous video, I used a surface mount device, this time, I will use a through hole capacitor, so it is more visible in the video. After removing the four screws at the corners, open the device and unplug the battery. One of the subscribers mentioned that his unit also has a fifth screw, underneath the label on the back of the unit. Mine doesn't have this. Under the label, there is just an injector mark, from the plastic injection molding process. To remove the PCB, first remove the rubber bumper. You should also unplug the flex connector for the display. Remove these two screws, and the PCB can be lifted out. Here is a very simplified schematic for the parts of the circuit we are going to change. You can see the signals from the MCU which control the LED, and the piezo sounder. The LED is triggered on particle events, unlike the piezo sounder. What we are going to do, is to bridge between these two points with a 100 nanofarad capacitor. The reason I have chosen to use a capacitor, is that the LED particle signal will end up creating two distinct electrical events, when passed through the capacitor. The first, is a positive spike, and the trailing edge creates a negative pulse. The positive spike will create particle sounds under normal conditions, but the negative spike will create these sounds when the alarm sounds are active. Using a resistor will not create particle sounds, when the alarm is active. Here you can see where I soldered the capacitor to, R32 on the back of the board. The other pin, then folds around to the front of the PCB. On the top of the board, the other end of the capacitor is soldered to the resistor, R7, just here. Once you reassemble the product, you will be able to hear the particle clicks in all their glory, just like a real Geiger counter. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my little video, or at least found some parts of it interesting. If you want to see more of this kind of video, you could always press the subscribe button. This is not a commercial channel, nor will it ever be, so I can say what I want, and YouTube's algorithm can go and get f***ed. Thank you for your time.